I'd like to officially welcome you to the fifth annual Orthobiologic Institute Regenerative Medicine Symposium. I've come to really see what's, what's new in medicine. Bringing together the cutting edge speakers and treatments. Dr. Sampson has done a remarkable job at pulling together the industry experts, the leaders in research and clinical applications of all the regenerative medicine therapies. They set up a regenerative microenvironment. Uh, mesenchymal stem cells, hematopoietic stem cells, and platelets as well. That makes sense. If prolotherapy is helping these patients, why not try to strengthen it and make it a little bit more powerful with the PRP? It has been clutched for more than five years. That is how it looks like immediately after the hydrodissection. And every system that we use makes a different type of PRP. It's autologous engineering. We're taking components of your own blood, bone marrow, fat, and trying to use those therapeutically. It's just a, an, an amazing group of enthusiastic clinicians and researchers, unparalleled in the world. These are the leaders in the industry, and it's nice to stay on top of what's going on. And then when you inject the stem cells at this time, you can actually get restoration of the disc. Dr. Bay's review of the current status of intradiscal treatments was excellent yeah, because he took it from a clinician standpoint and what's happening in the industry and also with foresight as to what's to come. I think the information about regenerative medicine is becoming more important and more popular with our physicians as well as our patients. Oh, I uh, talked on uh, PRP use in professional footballers. I work in, in London, UK really breaking it down to, to some of the research basis, the basic science, and also how we're moving forward and, 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 and the future does look exciting. The organizers have incorporated uh, the dental science and veterinary science and then the surgeons and the non-surgeons from medicine uh, and they made it an international event and it's really a great conference to attend. I probably operate on 2% of the patients I see, so most of the time now I'm looking for non-operative procedures on my patients. And I think this conference provides a background for all of that. On the lateral side of the antecubital fossa, you will almost always be able to see the radial nerve and then find the posterior neurosis nerve. You're going to feel a little pinch here, which is me getting into the bicep tendon sheath. Take a breath in. Evidence-based material and uh, well-documented. Excellent presentations. This is my second year and it's just it's just really exciting to see where medicine's going. Bringing together the cutting edge speakers and treatments so we can help our patients. They're making it easy to network and it's nice because everybody's so busy in their normal life that they don't have time to really pick up the phone and have a conversation. It's just a, been a fabulous group to network with and to get to know how, how things are done around the world. People are friendly and, and willing to, uh, to learn, sharing ideas, learning from each other. Uh, meeting people uh, from all over the world as you'd expect. Um, there are some people in the UK who, who've lectured, um, but it's been very important to get different people's ideas and really from the spinal contact to see what they're doing. We have over 100 doctors around the world streaming and listening in. We have a question from Dr. Michael Robbins at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. I'm just learning so much today, it's, it's remarkable. It's a great moment uh, for medicine, I think. <laughs> the more you learn, the more you realize how much more you have to learn, but it's very exciting. Regenerative medicine is becoming more important and more popular, and I think a lot of people were thinking that because it's very well attended. I would absolutely encourage others to come. This group is a, is a, a group that's very enthusiastic about what they're doing. They want to share their information with others, and that's just a rare in, in conferences around the world.